So we are right now in the city of Sidrot and we've come right to the outskirts of the city. Remember, this was the first target of the Hamas terrorists when they attacked uh, on Saturday. This is where, this is the road, the road that I'm on right now. This is the road that those terrorists took, firing indiscriminately at hundreds of people. This is a city of 30,000 people. Right now, right behind me, you can see that the army is deployed here in large numbers. Every road to, uh, to Sidrot has been completely blockaded. The bomb that you hear going off in the backdrop well look at that i want to show you these images uh, for a moment the thick plumes of smoke that you see rising over the horizon the thick plume of smoke that's gaza being bombed uh, by by the israeli air force by rockets and uh, and uh, uh, artillery precision artillery being used to take out hamas targets uh, on the other side and the plumes of smoke that you see rising that's gaza the uh, hamas terrorist training camp being bombed by the Israeli security forces. However, the situation here still remains tense because all of Sidrot still hasn't been cleared. There are still pockets where apprehension is that there still could be some terrorists. So this area remains extremely, extremely unsafe for, for civilian movement. You know, uh, follow me, you'd recall, this is a city of 30,000 people and the images that horrified the world were from Sidrot. Uh, this is where terrorists came in their uh, their pickup trucks and their minivans and on motorcycles this is the road that they took down all the way um, and went to the police station where I was reporting from uh, about an hour ago. That police station was taken over by the terrorists and there was a massive holdup with the Israeli forces at that police station. During that holdup, uh, uh, several Israeli police personnel were killed in action and the Hamas terrorists were neutralized. But in all of Sidrot, I mean, imagine if this is a, is a city of 30,000 people, it still hasn't been cleared. Every house still hasn't been cleared and there are some pockets where terrorists still remain. That is the threat in Sidrot even as you and I speak and the distance from here to Gaza as the crow flies just about a kilometer but by road just a couple of kilometers and that is how the terrorists breached the fence at three different locations very close to Sidrot and came in. So even now the security forces are taking no chances while this entire locality this part of it has been cleared in the interiors there are still apprehensions that some Hamas terrorists could still be there. So more resources, more weapons, more soldiers being called in to neutralize whatever remains of those terrorists in here. Again, you heard this big bomb go off and I want to show you. Can you see those thick plumes of smoke rising over the horizon? That is Gaza being bombed by the Israeli forces and we are barely a couple of kilometers from that location as Israel actually goes out to decimate the threat posed by Hamas. Follow me. Absolutely. Gaurav uh, is in fact at that location, which in fact was the road probably that was used by Hamas terrorists to infiltrate into Israeli territory. He's standing right there. Possibly the closest a journalist has got to the Gaza border. Gaurav, tell us more about the offensive action that the Israeli forces are taking at the moment in order to neutralize the terrorists uh, in Gaza. The location where we are right now, uh, you know, uh, the army is not very far from here. Uh, these, of course, are is, is the outermost cordon, uh, the ones that you see behind me. Um, if you notice behind me, that that is a military camp. Uh, we cannot go closer because we are forbidden from going going closer at this point. It's not even safe uh, tactically from military locations. But look at the number of uh, military vehicles that you see right behind me. This will show you uh, how operations are going on in a very big way uh, here at uh, at uh, Sidrot. Uh, this is where all these soldiers, all these soldiers are a part of a very major operation that's been carried out against Hamas. Now, this is the mobilization of the Israeli army that is taking place on ground zero. This is Israel preparing to decimate the threat posed by Hamas, not just in the interiors, not just in the areas uh, behind me in Sidrot, but also uh, along the Gaza Strip. So what we've been told that air attacks are happening now, ground attacks perhaps could just be a matter of time. We are still not very sure about that, uh, you know, when those ground uh, ground offenses, uh, offensive take, takes place. But we are told it's only a matter of time before ground forces move in to completely decimate the Hamas threat.
And that's indicative of what you just showed us uh, right now, Gaurav, about those military trucks uh, that were moving in to the area where you're at the moment. It clearly shows that Israel is preparing for ground invasion. Well, Israel is very clear. This is the biggest ever terror attack that's taken place on, on, on Israel. It's a small country, small population, and in a small country, when 1,200 people are massacred by terrorists, and each day more horrifying stories emerge of that massacre. Each day as security forces move into newer pockets, more kibbutz, more uh, villages, more settlements uh, where dead bodies are still being recovered, the, the, the horror is, is sinking in or in some instances yet to sink in. So some of these officers I was speaking to uh, right behind me, they were telling me, yes, they were shocked. Yes, they were taken by surprise, but it's almost like their Pearl Harbor moment. I spoke to a very senior officer on ground, one of the senior tactical commanders, and he said, this is our Pearl Harbor moment. We've been hit. We've been taken by surprise, but now we will bomb them and we will decimate them. There are no two ways about it. They don't care what anybody may think. They will decimate the Hamas. They will destroy the threat forever. That's the resolve. Their future generations will not face a threat posed by Hamas is what this officer told me as he took his troops to the front lines here. So their troops are moving to the front lines very clearly and they will be amongst perhaps the first soldiers who go in should there be a requirement. But their resolve is very steely. Uh, you know, we've had conversations with them, of course, off camera. They're not authorized to speak on camera. But off camera, they're very clear. Instructions from Prime Minister Binyamin Netanyahu and the leadership. Again, you can hear more bombs go off. That shows, you know, these, these are artillery precision, artillery munition being used to pinpoint uh, attacks, to carry out pinpoint attacks on the Hamas strongholds, whether it's homes of, uh, of uh, Mohammed Daif, the military commander uh, of, of Hamas uh, or his father's home or the training garrison or other locations, all of them are being decimated even as we speak, Polomi.